sorry. I was watching Eva for so long, but I couldn't do anything. After I gave her the blood beads, I thought things were getting better, but she suddenly got worse. I think she's still suffering on her own. Please, take care of her. We'll take care of this. One pro- Thanks to you, I was able to meet an old friend. Thanks. But I went and promised to make Onigiri for her. Now I have to clean this mess up so I can do it right. Make sure you're ready for whatever comes. I've got a whole new line of stock in, but seriously? If you want it, I got it. Watch yourself. quickly. I won't let Mito get away with doing whatever he wants. I've really... We've received a report that someone destroyed the barrier on the path leading from the provisional government to the mountains. One witness says there was a woman in the vicinity. It could... Well, that's all I can say. I'll leave the rest to you guys. What else can we do? It's the only way we can get any blood beads. Okay, let's get out of here while we can. This is the last of the blood beads we worked so hard for. All of the blood springs around here have run dry. I couldn't get so much as a single bead from them. I need to do something soon. I'm really sorry to make you do all the scary stuff, Mia. I wish I could help you fight. Come on, Nicola. Stop worrying about things like that, alright? As long as you're safe, I'm happy to take care of everything else. Who are you two? Please, I know it's a lot to ask, but could you spare some blood beads? We don't have much time left. Hmm, I can see that loss is starting to set in. You really think you can fight in that condition? Well, I won't know unless I try, right? Come with me. I know a place where there are blood beads.
Most of the blood springs were already dry by the time I became a revenant. Blood beads were difficult to come by, even in the best of circumstances. It was all we could do to survive. That was when we met Carmilla. We soon saw it wasn't us she was helping. She squeezed everything she could from us. In this world, you can never trust a stranger. That's what she taught me. This is, this is my home. home. I'm the I'm only, only one, one who lives here now, now. So, so make yourselves make yourself comfortable. comfortable. Thank, Thank you. you. Um... You can, you call, can me call me Carmilla. Carmilla. Oh, oh, and just, and just remember, remember, you're going, you're going to, be to be working, working for, me for me from now on. on. With that in mind, you're skilled, you're skilled at separating, separating others from their, from their blood, blood beads, correct? correct? You helped you us even, even though you knew? knew? I helped you because it was practical for me. So long, so long as I have, as I you, have two you two around, around I, won't I won't need to need risk, to risk my, my own neck. Why, Why else, else did you think, think I would bother, bother taking you in? You have you always lived, lived alone, alone Carmilla? Carmilla? The past, the past really, really doesn't, doesn't matter, matter, does it? You've, You've got, got bigger, bigger things to worry about, about. Like, like the laundry. The laundry. I'm, sorry. I'm sorry, I'm doing I'm it. it. Did everyone run away from you for being so selfish? Being, being nice, nice doesn't, doesn't do you any favors. When it comes, when it comes down, down to it, everyone looks out for number one. You would you do would well to remember that. that. We're in trouble. The lost are swarming out there. Huh? Where's Carmilla? I saw her leave a little while ago. She must, she must have caught have wind of them and took off. off. We, need, we to need to run, run Nicola. Nicola. Get the, Get blood, the blood beads from storage. storage. But, but those, those belong, belong to Carmilla. To Carmilla. You, remember you remember what she, what she said. said. Being, Being nice, nice doesn't, doesn't do you any favors. favors. Now hurry now up, hurry Nicola. Up, Nicola. began. From that moment onward, we lived our lives completely on our own, without any help from others. There was a part of me that wanted to trust Carmilla. She was cold and standoffish, but that didn't mean she was a bad person. I thought maybe she was just awkward with people. But I was wrong. In this world, you can only rely on your own strength. No one out there is going to save you. I learned that lesson all too well. That's why meeting you guys was such a big shock for me. You were willing to reach out to me, a complete stranger, like it was no big deal. Spending time with all of you made me realize something. It's true that being nice might not do you any favors in the end. But that's what you need to do if you want to live a fulfilling life. But when I think of it... The reason that we lived the way we did before we met you was because of everything that happened back then with Carmilla. But you know, after she took off, I never did see her again. I wonder what ended up happening to her. Everything that I had or held dear, all vanished instantly in the Great Collapse. I wandered aimlessly for days, searching for my family. With so much else occupying my mind, it took a long time for me to discover that I was no longer human. Where are we? 
This is our new home. There must be a reason for why we've returned as revenants. We've all lost everything. But now we can build new lives and live for everyone who didn't make it. Yeah, you're right. Sitting here and rotting away won't change anything. Let's do it. One after another, my friends fell, joining the ranks of the lost and leaving me once again with nothing. After that, I didn't venture out anymore. And once our stock of blood beads was finally diminished, I thought it was as good a time as any for my story to come to an end. That is, until the moment I arrived in this place and met those two kids. what Carmilla went through. I figured she was like that because she was a revenant. I didn't even consider her own experiences or how they may have shaped her. Maybe we could have come to understand each other if we'd had the chance. Mm, yeah. I do think I'd like to try to find out what happened to her. I mean, assuming that she's still alive, there may be more of her memories out there. If you happen to come across any, I'd appreciate it if you'd show them to me. I really do want to know more about Carmilla. Well, wow, wow, Carmilla, it's certainly, it's certainly been a been while. while. I thought you might have gone off and joined the Lost. I thought the same of you. I guess we're both resilient. Did you find a boyfriend or something? You look livelier than usual. Don't be ridiculous. I'm just babysitting for a while. Enough chit chat. Hand over the goods. Fine, fine. Here you are. That's everything. And I don't take refunds, alright? That Coco, so that's what that no refunds business was about. She gave me a lot more than our original deal. That girl's getting too soft for her own good. Thanks. Carmilla. Her tongue was sharp, but she was nice deep down. I haven't seen her since then. I hope she's still out there being her same old resilient self. Well, I guess none of my memories are floating around out there, huh? I... had a son. I was hoping you'd find memories related to him. Well, anyway, it was a long time ago. And the story is really not all that interesting. But if you do find something, please let me know. Mia, Mia and Nicola. When those, when those two, two crossed, crossed my path. path. I finally understood the reason why I had been reborn. It was destiny that brought us together. I would guide those two young souls into the future. It was my mission. 
I believed that. There was something about them that reminded me of my own children, the ones I'd lost in the Great Collapse. I took all of the blood bloods Mia had gathered and placed them in storage. I figured those two might need them in case of an emergency. To survive in this world, you have to be able to live using your own strength. That's why I have to be cold. To teach them not to rely on others. To be able to do everything themselves. I wish I could talk to them more, tell them more, but... Oh, never mind. It isn't important. If I can help them grow stronger, then... There's, There's no, no need, need to worry, you two. I won't, I won't allow, allow the loss, loss to get one, one step closer to you. To you. Once, Once I'd planned to give myself to them willingly. willingly. Now, now, I'm just I'm grateful, grateful for the, for the opportunity, opportunity to trade, trade my life, life for, yours. for yours. Thank, Thank you, you both, both. Mia, Mia Nicola, Nicola, for giving me one, one last chance to live like a human being. The time we spent together was short. But I enjoyed it. Take care. herself so that we could get away yet I thought nothing but awful things about her I swore forever that I'd be the one in control of my life yeah I plan to stick around I want to have a chance to pass along the same kindness that she showed me I want to work together to open a door into a better world than the one we're in. I want to be even stronger. Thank you. Without you, something very important to me might have stayed lost in the past forever. Really, thank you.